Hey, how's it going? Hope you're all doing well. Time for another retro gameplay video. Today we're going to be playing Armalite, which is a side-scrolling shooty type, R-type thing. So let's get on with it. Hey, Command64 here, bringing you retro and elite dangerous related content to YouTube in two separate playlists. I unbox, build, play, occasionally I'll go to a gaming event. If any of that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. To all of those of you that have subscribed already, thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Today we're going to be playing Armalite on the Commodore 64. This game was developed in 1988 by Dan Phillips of Cyberdyne Systems. Wait. Cyberdyne Systems Corporation. Cyberdyne, 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 Cyberdyne Systems. The game was very popular with players and critics alike, earning it several awards, including a Golden Joystick Award for Best 8 bit graphics, back when Golden Joystick Awards actually meant something. I'm looking at you, Fortnite. Reviews of the games likewise were very positive, and even now, retro game websites such as Lemon64 rank it very highly. Will I concur, I wonder? It was on the Amiga, the Atari ST and the Commodore 64. As I said, it's a side-scrolling shooting game along the lines of our type and it's one or two players. There was a sequel planned, but that was cancelled due to the graphics designer leaving and there was a remake made by Arc Developments for the Amiga and the Atari ST. I'm still loading. We're back in a minute. One second. We've just got to do something. See how we do with this one. Love those balls. <laughs> no, I do. I love those spinning spheres. They're pretty cool. Right, I had this one when I was a kid. Oh, that's a power up, isn't it? Yeah, I love the sprites on this. Oh. Let's 
Get those. Do you know what they do? Oh, I love the graphics and the gameplay. This is really cool. No music, but I, th I think this is one of the best game looking games I've played on the Commodore for a long time now. And the gameplay is enjoyable. I love the way that the sprites rotate. It almost looks 3D. Yeah, I love it. Love this game. So, let's... Look at those. Still not quite sure what they're doing for me. first, and then they give you a power-up. Well, I'm not going to be able to shoot that one, am I? Ah, and you can change it as well. Oh, now I'm shooting behind me and in front of me. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to be playing this a lot. I've forgotten how good this game is. See the way they back away, like, um, I don't know, like a jellyfish or something. There's definitely a sea creature that moves just like these guys do. Oh, you know what? Oh. I'm trying to work out if I can collide with the walls, or if they're just background plates. See, let's test it. We'll deliberately fly into a wall and see if it is just a background plate or. Oh. It's generous of it to give you a power up straight away. It's... Nice. Ooh, what's that one? Oh. Ooh, four ways. Right, go into the wall. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very good at it, but I'm enjoying it. Oh, oh. What's this? Oh, this is mega firepower now. Mega firepower! Why not? <laughs> it's cheating a bit, but I've got the auto fire on now. Let's see how we do. Now we just worry about dodging. I don't know, that just relates to the le to the colour scheme of the background plate, doesn't it? Because I'm firing red at the moment and the walls are red, so I think that's just the way that works. I don't think it means that I've acquired a more powerful weapon or anything. Okay. Or 
so far is definitely helping me get those power-ups quicker. Now, loads of bullets flying all over the place. Ah, but just can't avoid those ones. Oh, really, really hard to avoid things. played this game? I bet you have. If you're Commodore 64 fans, you most likely have played this. If you've got any tips for me, leave them in the comments section, and next time I play it, I will definitely use the tips. If I need all the help I can get. <laughs> where I want to be. It's good when you're side by side it's easier to shoot these ones. There's quite a lot of games like this as well that have a similar sort of gameplay element. I think everybody's got their favourites. I think the R-Type and this one tend to be the ones that people talk about most. But there's a, there's a bunch of them, isn't there? What was that one on the PlayStation I had quite a good one? I remember it had um, a very sort of pre-rendered 3D background plate. I can't remember what it's called right now, but I should put it on the screen once I have remembered. That's cool. But that was quite a good one. I'm doing pretty well here. This is, as far, this is the furthest I've got so far. Oh, gotta shoot these shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Didn't shoot all the shields. I think it fully lives up to its reputation of being one of the best shooting games. At least on the Commodore 64, if not, you know of this kind of game, definitely in the top 10 of those R-type type games. Let me know if you've got the game, let me know if you've got any tips for me um, about how I can get a bit further in the game, because I am struggling a bit with it, um, but I'm enjoying it, so I'm going to carry on playing. Um, let me know what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, what you'd like to see in the future for the channel. And have a great day, this is Commander64 signing off.